Wow, well that creative edit just turned into a disaster as I almost broke my expensive camera. Okay, well, now that my skateboard is rolling away, let's just get straight to the point here. I got this board probably like three weeks ago, and this thing has been cracking probably since a week ago. Every time I skate it, I hear a new crack, it starts to feel more and more bendy. And now I'm at the point where I have this brand new flat bar. This guy right here. <laughs> Oh yeah, this pristine, beautiful piece of work. But I don't feel confident to skate it because I feel like my board is gonna snap. Well, Baker board, I had high hopes for you. To be completely honest, you are a letdown, and dare I say, a waste of money. So by the title of this video, you know what is in that box. It's a real skateboard. Let's go ahead and open it up and take it out of the box. Ooh, crispy. It's looking good. Whoa! Oh, hello, colors. Zion Wright. Boom, we got the Palm Beach because he's from Florida. These are some popping colors. So the whole topic of this video is giving my honest opinion on the real full SE, which is this sticker right here. You can probably read it, but it says holds full deck width from nose to tail for full board control. We're gonna get more into the board shape later, but let's go ahead and put this grip tape on. Super hyped to skate this real deck, but this isn't just any real deck. This is the real full SE. The SE stands for short edition. So this deck is 8.25 inches wide. And for your typical real board, that would put the wheelbase at 14.5 inches, whereas this is only 14 and a quarter. Essentially what that means is that this deck is slightly squished together. And ultimately what that does when you're skating is it makes the board more responsive. Now when they say that this is a real full, what that means is this is a full shape. So typically your deck would taper around the edges but if you can see on this deck it's a straight line 8.25 inches wide from the bottom all the way to the top so right off the bat picking it up and then riding with it I haven't popped any tricks but I can already tell that this board is a lot heavier than any other 8.25 that I've ever skated so rather than it being tapered and it being that full 8.25 the entire way that's supposed to give your feet more room to maneuver and really create a more stable feel when you're riding. So I'm really stoked to see how that feels. And then also with the shorter length, I'm excited to see if that does feel more responsive. I'm really glad that I got the SE because I'm excited to have all the extra room without the taper on the board. But with it being a lot heavier, I think having the shorter wheelbase will add back a little bit of that maneuverability to kind of combat the extra weight that's been added on there. Hopefully that made some sense to you. I feel like I can overthink and be a little nerdy about this stuff. Hopefully you get some sort of value around me just geeking out about how cool I think skateboards are. Because the shape of this board is really unique, I wanted to go ahead and try three different tests to figure out if the shape of the board actually does make a difference when you're skating. So test number one is gonna be an ollie. Because the wheelbase is shorter, the board should be more responsive. And I've been thinking I should try ollieing over the little ledge that I have in the back of my car, but I've been scared that I won't be able to suck up my wheels in time. So having the shorter wheelbase should help it be more responsive and should give me some confidence to be able to ollie over that. So the next aspect of the board that I want to test out is the full shape. So because there's no taper, it should give you more control when you're doing flip tricks. You should be able to feel more of the board. So to test this out, I'm going to do the kickflip test. I'm going to kickflip on flat ground, up a curb, and off a curb. So I can test and determine for myself whether I think that the full shape actually makes a difference. So the last test that I want to do is just to test the strength of the board. So I'm going to test the strength of this today by trying various board slides and just get a feeling for how crispy and 
and how strong the construction of the board is. So before we do any of that, I'm gonna go ahead and warm up and then we'll run some tests and come back and see what the conclusion is, whether or not this board is special or if it's just another gimmick. Let's go ahead and get warmed up. I'm starting to feel a little bit warmed up now. I'm actually gonna do the board slide test first because I just wanna make sure that my knee is warmed up for the jumping ones, the kickflip and the ollie over the ledge, as well as the kickflip up and down the curb. So, okay, so let's go ahead and see how the board feels when we're doing some board slide. It's starting to get dark, so sorry I couldn't do more tricks on the rail for you. Before I move on from the rail, I'm gonna do 150-50 because I wanna learn lots of grinds on flat bars. Jamie Foy is like my ultimate inspiration. I would love to be able to, you know, like sit on grinds like he does. In order to do that, I gotta put in the work. So before we move on from the flat bar, I'm gonna go ahead and get 150-50 on the round bar. Let's get it first try right here. No, I cover up my fault lines with silly putty like the laughs. Worried that I'm not gonna make it over that thing, but I know I can. So let's get this first try. Man, I ain't 22 no more. Gotta shoot for the moon. If I fall on the floor, I always get back up, ask for more. I'ma keep playing the playing strings till the chanting encore do you. Don't let them push your you through a door that they open. This All right, Ollie test complete. I gotta say, it felt really good. I think what I noticed the most is that the extra width on the board gives it like a little bit more heaviness and a little bit more grip. And I really do genuinely feel like that makes a difference. Now the question is, is it too heavy for me to be able to kickflip up a curb? Or is the benefit of the, the weight and the added width on the nose and the tail, is that going to help me enough to get up that little baby curb? I know it doesn't seem like much to you guys. For me, like it's progress to be able to like kickflip up and down curbs and whatnot. So first let's do a flat ground kickflip, then we'll go up and then we'll go down, let's get it. Everybody to the ground. Well, sky, the sky is falling. Everybody is trying to grab. Loud. So now we've done all the tests. We did the pop test, the strength test, and the flick test. On the rail, it didn't feel like particularly crispy, but it didn't feel weak at all. It just kind of felt normal. Didn't feel extra crispy, but definitely didn't feel like any bending or anything. It felt solid. All right, guys, I'm super sorry, but my camera battery died, so I'm gonna have to finish the video on my iPhone. The board felt incredible. It does feel heavy, but that extra weight gives you kind of more control. You feel the board a lot more, which is something that I really, really like. As well, when I was landing, I could definitely tell the difference in the stability. Having no taper on there, it just felt like really, really solid, and you felt like you had a lot of board to come down and land on, which was super, super sick. And it was the same thing with the flick. With a heavier board, you can really feel the board and really flick it the way that you want, and you really feel that catch. And so it gave me a lot of confidence, and it didn't take me that many tries to do those kickflips up and off. Part of that is just I've been practicing and getting better, but another part of that is just the board, I really felt confident skating with it and doing those kickflips. So super, super hyped on this board. My final consensus is that I love this shape. I love how responsive it is. I love the stability and the extra weight. It's like if you could have come up with a perfect shape for me in my skating to really give me an extra edge in my skating, it would be this shape. I am gonna leave a link to Amazon where you can get a real skateboard. So if you wanna support my channel and you're already planning on buying a skateboard, you can use that link. As well as you like these videos and you wanna support me, like, subscribe, it's the best thing that you can do. And if you wanna buy some Friday merch, head to the link in the description. Thank you so much for your support, you guys are the best. 
and I'll catch you in the next video. Peace. Everybody's gonna grab, grab.